welcome back to my channel. Today we are playing with some new makeup. I have a bunch of new products, things that I'm very excited to try. Some of them are not brand new, but I'm excited to try them nonetheless. I'm also gonna do my hair because, see when my hair is like this, I just remind myself of the little girl from Little Miss Sunshine. Like long hair, granddad teaching her how to dance inappropriately. If you've seen it, you'll know what I mean. So I thought we could do our hair first and then get into some makeup. First thing I'm gonna do is heat up my soft curl tool. I'm gonna brush my hair out. And I washed my hair yesterday and I just let it air dry. It was Saturday, you know. It's actually looking really nice though. I like the way it's air dried. The extensions I've got in are great lengths. Trying something new, I really like them. I need a couple more in my hair just because I've got really, I've got quite thick hair. The reason I'm gonna show you this in like a tutorial is because I got asked how I, how I do it. I use the same things to do my hair all the time because I just, I know how to use them. And there's a technique that uh, I suppose is a little bit different. Let me just get this. I stole some clips from Jack Baxter when he did my hair by accident. And then I would brush it out at the end, but I, I really like doing it this way. I've got some tuggies in my horror. So I'm literally gonna speed round my head. All the curls I do away from my face. So I'm just gonna brush first. Get my soft curl tongue. Honestly, if you need one hair tool in your life, it's this. This is not sponsored, but I do work with GHD. And I go in to the section and I just do a little bend, hold, open the clamp up, slide it down. And then I kind of do it almost to the end. Look, this is how much I've got left. And then what I do, hold it right at the root and then pull, boom. And what you're left with is something like this. I kind of leave it for a few seconds, so usually by the time I've got my next section, I do just kind of speed round. It's really quick as well. And if you want it even looser, just do huge sections. And it's one of those things, I learned this like, I call it a technique. <laughs> I feel like it's not even a technique, but I just watched when I was getting my hair done. I watched, I think it was Jack, or maybe it was someone else, but I watched what they were doing. And then I'm literally gonna get that and brush it out. Oh, do you see this? It's like how to get curls that look undone. And when your hair's not been blow dried, it's the texture of it's a little bit frizzier. Well, for me it is anyway. So I just really like this. It just makes my hair look a little bit neater and it doesn't need to be perfect, which is great. I can't do the whole perfect section and thing. Me and Jack are going out for dinner tonight, hopefully. We're waiting to hear if our favorite restaurant in Glasgow's got any space uh, last minute. We left it really last minute. So I'm actually kind of getting ready for something, which is really fun. So I've kind of done that whole bit, apart from the front of my hair, I do that at the end, but you can see that by pulling the hair out at the end, it kind of straightens it and then just give it a brush through. And you can see the difference, like this is just kind of frizzy nonsense. And this is a bit nicer, literally. So on the other side we'll start. It takes a bit longer now that I've got long hair, but worth it. So again, away from my face. And I like to have them all going in the same direction. I just, I think it suits, it suits my hair. And I'm just literally going to repeat this. So I've literally gone right through my hair. I think it looks nice. It's not too done. At the top, I just curl my own hair, mostly just so it's flat. But I think the secret is a comb. This is the GHD Carbon Anti-Static Comb. And using this to brush out the curls, what you're left with is just, it's like a nice natural wave rather than anything too curly. My fringe I've not done yet. Uh, I try and not use too much heat on my fringe just because it's the lightest part of my hair and it's the most fragile, but I see just getting a wee, something like that and then brush it out, boom. That's pretty good, right? And I'm actually just gonna let my hair chill like that and I'll shove a little bit of oil through the ends to make it nice and juicy looking. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that makes me feel really tired. See the heat of my hair, I'm like that. Let's take a Sunday nap. Everything I've got in front of me is new. Most of it I have not tried. One product I have tried, two products I have tried, pardon me. Let's get into skincare first. I've just got a couple of really basic products. This is a brand that's pretty new. It's just on Cult Beauty. It's called Then I Met You and this is their Calming Tide Gel Cream. I really like the packaging. It has hibiscus, oh my God, I can't say that word. Madocasicide, ceramides and peptides. So ceramides and peptides I know just to be really, 
gentle skin hydrators and protectors as well. So this is super gentle. And I'm just gonna pop that on. Oh my goodness, it's like so lightweight. Really gentle, clean scent, but nothing too strong. I feel like I've found tons of really nice light moisturizers lately. Maybe it's just because spring, summer, that's kind of how we all tend to want to go, right? I think if you've not had a look at this brand, have a look. I've got the woman who created the brand's book and it's very inspired by Korean skincare and Korean beauty, which um, I find really fascinating. So have a look, they're on Cult Beauty now. But I really like that for a day-to-day -day moisturizer. It sinks right in and it leaves your skin with a wee bit of tack, which I like. Next we've got a new SPF. This is the Ultraviolet SPF 50 Plus Queen Screen. So this is a lightweight sunscreen and I was just intrigued by the bottle. It reminds me of the Barbara Sturm sun drops. Quite bougie, so let's take that. For everyday use, we mean it. Cruelty free, paraben free. Formulated and created in the toughest place to get a sunscreen approved, Australia. That's really cool, made in South Melbourne. Okay, I need to do the rest of my skincare then. This is the Herborean Bamboo Eye Moisturizing Matte Effect Eye Contour Gel. I'm really interested about this because I have oily eyes, but I do want to be using an eye cream every day nowadays, just cause I'm getting older. Ooh, looks like a gel. Let's zoom you in. Wrong way. I'm gonna take that. Look, it's like a gel. Oh, no. Well, it's drying. No residue, okay. Maybe that's a really good suggestion for those of you that also have oily eyes. Okay, let's try this sunscreen. So I'm gonna get that and see with sunscreen, you need to use a lot for it to work. So I've got a fair amount on my hand. Smells nice, it smells quite no, it doesn't smell strong. That just kind of disappeared, didn't it? Very hydrating, which is a, it is a nice thing, but it's quite slippy. I like it, I like the smell. I like how it's hydrating, TBC. Like, I don't know if you can see the shine on my hands, but it's, it's definitely, maybe for dry skin, you would love that. Moving on to base. Very excited about this. I've not seen any reviews, but this is the Glowish Multi Dew Skin Tint. Who's a beauty is a bit of a power women, isn't she? I don't know how many brands they've got. So they've got Huda Beauty, they've got Wishful, and now they've got Glowish. So super, oh, is that gonna be too turned? I have medium here, which is one lighter than that. I do think it's so smart because Huda Beauty, the brand, is known for being, you know, full coverage, bacon, like intense makeup. Maybe this is gonna be the sister brand that's for more natural finish type makeup. This is the shade medium, which actually might be okay. For brushes, I have Cash Beauty's new brush set. I've got them all here, so I'm gonna work out of this pot. And this is the KO2, which I'm gonna use for foundation. So I'm gonna get some of that brush. Oh, that's quite a good match. So it's gonna be natural, which, I mean, I'm, okay, I do it all, don't I? I try, I, I love it all. I'm just bouncing that with this brush. Is that going darker? Oh, no, surely not. I wonder if this is actually a product that would maybe be better suited using fingers. This is too dark for me, the medium, but I feel like it looked okay when I first put it on. I can get away with it, I think. I'm always in the medium range. Very glowy, very, very, very glowy. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave that there. It is too deep and warm for me at the moment, but I think we can make it work with concealer. So concealer I'm gonna use has been out for a while, but I've not tried it yet. It's the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Brighten and Correct Duo. So this is essentially, is really similar to their camouflage concealer that's in the compact, but it's in a much easier, well, it's kind of user friendly a little bit more. So we've got Brighten and we've got Correct. I know that these are quite matte products, but I thought because we're going with such a glowy base that it might work really well. So it also might add the coverage that we need and it might do the slight correction we need in this color of foundation. So I'm gonna go under my eyes. Glowish skin tint would be amazing on holiday. I'm just going in with the, the brighten part and we're gonna blend that out and just see how they, these products mix. Oh Lord. Hmm, not sure about this. Brighten and correct, okay. Let's try correct and see if that's a bit thicker because I feel like I need that coverage and that color correcting for this color foundation. I do like how you can just draw on your face with that. I'm just gonna use my Smith brush just because it's that bit denser and I just really need to like bounce this into my skin. Getting somewhere. 
Okay, that's looking good. We definitely need to powder and I need to cover up that little blemish. So let's see. Yeah, let's powder. Right, this I've tried, but I want to talk to you about it because I want to know if you've tried it as well because I love it, but I wonder if I'm using it wrong. So this is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder No Powder. So it's meant to be like a no powder powder, but I'm getting this slight film on it and I just wonder whether my skin's too oily. No, I do really like it. I think it's lovely. I think, see for you guys that wear not much foundation at all through the day and you just need something, this is so nice. I don't know if it beats my Charlotte Tilbury. What do you guys think? What do you think? What do you think? I'm gonna go in with my, my blush, my bronze and my highlight. I have here the Nude Sticks collaboration with Alana Rama. Look how perfect she is. She's just gorgeous. And she's come out with her own shade of blush nudies. And then in here we've got Bondi Bay and Bubbly Bebe. I'm sure it's Bebe, which is like Bebe. So I'm gonna use all three of these. I love this formula. I've tried it a million times. I love Bondi Bay. She has a full size, but I'm gonna use the kit today, which are, look how adorable these are. They are the cutest. I mean, I've got shown you every wrong <laughs> direction, but they are the cutest little dinky, nude sticks nudies uh, and I'm just really excited about this so let's go in with Bondi Bay first so I'm gonna just I mean I'm pretty tanned by this foundation so it's not gonna look super different but I'm gonna go around there around there and we're just gonna go super summery because that's apparently what I have chosen today I woke up I chose violence and I chose summer vibes and I'm just gonna go in with that smith brush just to buff they just blend so easily. This formula is honestly just so beautiful. Yeah, love it. So that's added a tiny little bit more dimension to my cheeks, which is great. Let's go in with Picante, which is Alana's shade, if I show you on my hand. Just all you need for summer. And I'm the most beautiful orange blush. And I'm gonna use that on my nose and my cheeks. Love, love, love. And I'm gonna go back in with the Cash KO2 and we're gonna pat that out. My nose look how beautiful. Oh my goodness. Obsessed, obsessed. And we have here the all over face highlight in bubbly bubble. <laughs> and I'm just gonna touch that on my cheeks. I mean, my skin's a pretty much ridiculously glowy at this point anyway. <laughs> That's just gonna add to the glow. It looks really nice. It's definitely super glowy. I'm wondering whether maybe I'm like a more mattifying SPF would have been better because that one was really quite oily, but we're gonna make it work. I love that. I think that looks really, really nice. To just intensify my bronzer slightly, I have the Glowish Soft Radiance Bronzing Powder in the shade 02 Medium. Really cool kind of marbled effect. Uh, and I'm gonna go in with the Cash K03, which is just a nice angle brush. Wow, I didn't expect it to be so sheer, but it's nice. This is so different for Huda, um, really exciting. It's maybe not quite as warm as I would use as a bronzer. Do you see how there's just a wee bit grey there? I think that that's the product not being quite warm enough. These are just not that warm in general, I think. So that's medium, O2 medium, and that's O3 tan light, and that's deep tan which looks really quite pink to me. Oh, wow, no. Well, it's, it's definitely got pink tones in it, but it doesn't, this one looks warmer than this one, doesn't it? Tan light and mid, right. I'm gonna try tan light, just because I might be being stupid. I'm gonna apply a tiny bit more blush just after my bronzer, I feel like I've lost it a little bit. So what I've done is I've drawn it on the back of my hand. I'm gonna pick it up with my brush and apply that way, look at that. Love that. Okay, no, I really like the way the base looks. I think it actually looks nice. I think sometimes you just need to figure out how best to use the product, which is actually why I find it really interesting watching first impressions of new makeup releases. This is really cheeky. All Nighter Scent Spray, they've got a new bottle. It's got new writing on it, so it counts as a new product. <laughs> While I chill and let that dry, I'm gonna go off camera quickly to do my brows, otherwise this video is going to be a million years long and I'll be right back. 
Okay, I'm back, I'm almost dry, and I wanted to go and grab another powder that's a little bit more intense, and I have not properly looked at these yet, but look how sweet. So this is the Huda Beauty Loose Powder, which is amazing, I do really like it. They came out with tiny versions, so what you do is you kind of bring half this lid up, twist it, and out pops a little, like, puff. I'm just gonna get some of that product out. So I think it's almost worth kind of giving it a little shake before you start. But I just thought I really wanted to try it to see. Oh, that smells really good. I mean, I'm not sure how you would wash. Like, do you, would you just take that off and wash it? Can you do that? Oh God. I just think it's such a cute little thing. See, if we're touching up on the go or trying it out, I don't suppose you can really bake with it, but see, for just touch-ups, I just thought it's quite a sweet thing, quite a nice way to try the product. And see, if you didn't want to use the puff, you could actually just go in with your brush. Yeah, I actually think I prefer this. But that's nice, that's kind of taking away the majority of the shine, and I just go, cute. I don't know if this is gonna 100% go, but we're gonna go with it. Anyway, I have a new product from Urban Decay. This is their Shadow Sticks. This is in the shade Mildew, and as you can guess, it's green, but I just thought that these looked so nice. I've seen a couple of videos on their Instagram, and I wanted to try it, so we're going for an orange blush and a khaki eye, which I actually think might look quite cool, so let's just go for it. So I'm gonna go in with the stick, and I'm just gonna start coloring in all over, and I'm gonna use this as like an all over color. Wow. And I'm gonna go in with a brush and just buff that out. I really like the formula of the Urban Decay 24 seven eyeliners and lip liners. So I think I'm gonna love this. And just drawing that on all over, that color is quite amazing. You might want to use a slightly more dense brush to blend these out rather than a fluffy brush. I like these. I feel like I'm doing a really like Alana inspired makeup today. I don't know why. Maybe it's because of my shirt. Cute. Okay, I'm going to go under my eye with this as well, you know. And I'm just going to go right over the whole lid to make sure it's super pigmented. These pencils are really quite cool. They're like dual chrome almost. I can feel it starting to get tacky and dry down. I'm going to go in with an eyeshadow palette. I had one here just in case I felt this way, but I feel like I need a shadow to help blend this out. So I've got the Mary Jane palette here from Milk Cosmetics. I still just love their products. I think they're so cool. I remember how excited I was to get the stacks eventually. They were quite tricky to get here for a while. So I'm going to go in with the shade Mary, which is this one here. And I'm just going to see, I don't have another base on my eyes, but I just need something to help me blend that out. Do you see there's a patchy line? Hmm. Maybe I'll go in with Gaspar. Gaspar is this one here, it's like khaki. Hmm. I do not like the way that this looks. I'm not liking this. <laughs> I don't know what's happened. I think we need to take a time out. I think that that Urban Decay pencil would work best as an eyeliner or as a pop of colour but not all over the lid. I'm just not obsessed. So I'm going to go in with the Melt palette in a few different shades and I'm going to start like smoking it up. I'm just going to fit it around. I'm going to add a shadow wing and I'm so going to fix this. Maybe it's just been, see, do you know how long it's been since I just sat and played with products that I don't know what they're like? I think that that's why I always stick to what I know on YouTube, just because sometimes it goes wrong. But I suppose, actually, it's quite nice to see it go wrong to see how I can fix it. But I think we're going to end up going quite grungy with this today, my guys, because that's how I fix everything. Isn't that 10 times better already? I literally just used the Sin Simula shade. Or do you think they're all like names of weed? Because it's called the Mary Jane palette. And you know what California's like? I said a really quiet place so I don't offend anybody. I literally just used that one shade and I've totally changed the way that this looks. I kind of love it now. I think that I've never been a fan of shimmer all over the eye unless it's like neutral tones. Let's add some khaki to this. Yeah, let's do Sweet Lucy, which is this one here. Oh my goodness, the shimmers are so nice. I'm gonna pat it on. Nice. I'm gonna change my brush. See when you're using shimmers like this that are like a little bit more like glitters or pigments, I just kind of hold my head forward so any fallout or most of the fallout will fall down onto my white shirt. <laughs> 
That Urban Decay pencil is made for quite a good base, actually. See, just because it's got the green tones behind it, I think it looks quite cool. I'm gonna slightly smoke this out. I mean, this is danger zone. This is how it went wrong last time. I'm not gonna lie, my under eyes aren't looking very good, so I'm gonna add just a little bit of concealer. What do you prefer? Do you prefer a cream concealer or a like a pot concealer, like a solid concealer? Because I think that, I don't know. I don't know, I love the NARS pot concealer. I think what's happened here today, here now in front of you, I think what's happened is I prepped my skin the wrong way for makeup. I don't think that those products that to start with were any good. I'm not sure if that SPF was made for makeup to be on top of it because that actual skin product, I can tell that I like them, but they're just not doing what they're meant to do. It's just the concealer and the foundation. The blush bronzers have done great, but I think that the SPF underneath that foundation and concealer is making it sp like split up. <laughs> They're breaking up. <laughs> That's better. I just used a little bit of my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So now the rest of my face looks okay. Intriguing. <laughs> And actually, I think that those eyes look quite cool. They're messy, it's almost like an oil spill or something. I have here the Nude Sticks Vegan Splash Proof Mascara. Waterproof and sweat proof high performance mascara with multivitamins, plant based oils to moisturize, strengthen, and protect lashes. What I find so interesting, Nude Sticks brought out two mascaras at one time. So they cater for their customer that likes thicker lashes, but they've also got a much more natural mascara. I just thought that was so, I don't think I've seen that really before. And I'm gonna use this. And I'm gonna take my time to really build up my lashes. We'll see what we're working with. Nice experience so far. Looks really good. Quite a, I don't wanna use the word jaggy, but it's quite a firm plastic brush. I just say that because I know like my mum, for example, doesn't love a brush like this. She likes something that's a bit more fibrous, that's a bit softer. If you get yourself in the eye with this, it's gonna flip and hurt. I'm kind of impartial, I like both, but I just know that some people don't love a wand like this. Really nice on bottom lashes. The bristles almost grab your lash, you can feel it. It's got like a nice drag to it. I don't know if you have used mascaras. Some mascaras are quite slidey, so you just feel like you're coating your lashes nonstop. This really like grabs and pulls your lashes up. I have nothing new for my freckles, so I'm just gonna use my Benefit. Wow, I like those eyes. Do you know one thing I want to do is just take a little bit of Gaspar. I want to use that just in my crease. Okay, I wanted to use an ultra lip because I just want to see what it's like. I might just, I mean, classic glossy fashion. It's lovely and almost undetectable. <laughs> no shade. I really like glossy products, but they are just that, like no makeup makeup wearer, which is gorgeous, but I think this look needs a little bit more pizzazz. I have a new lip liner here. This is the Huda Beauty Lip Contour 2.0 Warm Brown. I think this is a whole new formula and everything. So I'm gonna just go ahead and start. Wow, good shade for my lip color. And this is a twist up, which I thought was really interesting. Cause it looks like a traditional pencil, but I've seen that some people have went to sharpen this and obviously it's not a traditional pencil, so it's snapped. So just be wary of that. Very creamy. For my lip color, I have a new matte liquid lipstick from Dosa Colors in the shade Cozy, which looks just like a really pale, oh yeah. A really pale nude, so I'm gonna just do my thing. So I'm just applying and then patting that out with my finger. I don't want too much of an ombre today, so I'm just like, patting it right up to the lip liner. But as far as liquid lipstick goes, the Dose of Colors is one of my favorite formulas. It is so nice. I mean, I feel like I just want to stick a tiny lash on. I'm gonna just put on an old pair of HL ones I have on my desk. And I just took them off and put them on my desk and now I'm picking them up and putting them back on. Okay, let's simulate it and have a look. Okay, that is the finished look, you guys. I hope you liked it. Oh, hair oil. I'm gonna take my Davines Oil Oil, not new at all. I have literally three bottles of it stockpiled because I love it. And I'm just gonna drag that through the ends of my hair, but I actually focus on where my hair 
like my natural hair ends just because the extensions are always going to be a little bit glossier but it works super well and it gives it that little bit more lived in feeling i stay away from my roots but i do do my fringe and then i'm going to get that comb again and i'm just going to brush that out so you guys that's the finished look i hope i feel i'm a bit too tall a bit <laughs> I hope you really liked it. For me, out of all the products that I tried, the like favourite products that I think that you should definitely look at are the Then I Met You. I think it's a really interesting range. It felt great. If I had gone for just this in my usual SPF underneath the base makeup, I think it would have been really nice. This SPF, I don't think that this is the right one for me. I think it's a little bit too greasy for me, which is why my, my kind of base started breaking up. I mean, I still I managed to fix it and I do like it, but maybe I might try other products from this range because I'm not sure that that's for me. I think that Alana's collab with Nude Sticks is great. I love the colour. I think it's so fun. I think it's so her. It's so summery. And the set in particular is great because you get your Bondi Bay in there, which is an old fave of mine. And the Bubbly Bebe, if you like, natural glow. Like, I actually think that just looks so nice. So, so nice. I'm really, really proud of her and I think that that's really gorgeous. I have to say the Milk Cosmetics Mary Jane palette really did save the day for this. I do think the Urban Decay Shadow Sticks are lovely, but I just think I used it the wrong way. Uh, I shouldn't have gone in the way I did and just start blending it out. And I didn't have a base underneath it, so I had nothing to blend into and blah, blah, blah. But the Mary Jane palette, I think that it's really cool, really unique colour story as well. I really don't think I've seen anything quite like that yet. And yeah, apart from that, I think the mascara is looking good. If you're in the market for a new mascara, it's really nice. It's definitely for me, like I'm just an everyday mascara. And usually by now, I've got such a glowy base that usually by now, if I was going to have patchiness from a mascara, I would have it by now and I don't. So that's quite promising. I hope you like the makeup. I mean, it took us a little while to get here, but I do think it's important that I share that. It's not epic every time. As always, I'll link everything that I use down below. Hope you like this video. Are there any products out there that you think I need to try? Is there any brands that I've not tried that you think I need to try? Uh, let me know down below. And other than that, I will see you in the next video. Bye. I feel like I used to manage to get that a lot louder. Oh my goodness, what's going on with my brow hair? I'm super pretty. I'm also, also nothing. Am I even in the middle of the room? Smells good. Anyone else smell their skincare by going, <laughs> smell of their top lip? <laughs> ah! Cuddle at that. Oh, fucking hell. I have a new lip liner. <laughs> Apply it as the final step of your skin. Oh my goodness, it's going to be. But I do do my fringe. Do do. I do do my fringe.